Hi, we're just doing some further tests on the wee radio today, uh, the transmitter, and before we finally do it, the, the tuning capacitors I've taken out at the moment, I've just put a fixed capacitor in here, and we're, uh, we're monitoring the anode of the valve at the moment, so we've got some one or two small changes at the moment, I've just put a ferrite rod, it was getting too messy, um, so the, the ferrite rod will act as tuning as well, so that's fine. Uh, just to show you what we're doing here. Now this is the total HT current which is uh, on the 10 milliamp range and we've got about 0.7 of a milliamp that's all. Uh, battery supply is 56 uh, 54 volts uh, there's some of them are a bit down it's about 51 now actually and we're, we're filming surprise dropping it's just slightly over one volt at, uh, one volt at the moment. So this is a one kilohertz test we're doing, we're monitoring the input signal and we're monitoring the, the RF and this is a tra trapezoidal, trapezoidal waveform we're receiving from the scope that one kilohertz. Um, now we're using a mini disc test disc here, now it's now changing and I think the next one is 20 hertz. That's 20 hertz as you can see it's fluttering and the signal level is lower obviously uh, because of the, uh, the loss in the, the input transformer. But still, we're still having an appreciable signal. Uh, next one is 40, and you can see we've got a higher level. So that's 40 kilohertz there. Sorry, 40 hertz, not kilohertz, 40 hertz. Next one is 100. There we go, that's 100. Um, next one is 200. And the next one is 500. The next one is back to one kilohertz, and the next one will be five. And you can see the waveform changes here. That's five kilohertz, and the next one is ten. No, seven kc. Sorry, seven kilohertz. I can't hear it. I'm deaf. Ten kilohertz. You can see the effect on the waveform. Comments, please. 16 16 kilohertz I don't think there's anyone higher than that, it might be, I don't know, let me just check 18 kilohertz 20 kilohertz and back to 1 ok, so that's, that's that point we've looked at, now let me just change the scope settings put it back to uh, the a waveform here that we can see so we'll do all those ones again uh, let's move this across uh, and there we go now obviously we're going to have to set the trigger in because this scope doesn't trigger too well I'll go back to the, the first one uh, here we go one kilohertz next one is 20 hertz and you can see there well, maybe you can't because it's sweep. It's not so good. It's much lower, lower level, obviously. Uh, 40, we should get a bit more. It's a little bit more, yes. Single levels come up. You're not going to see this particularly well, but okay, you have to uh, just agree that I'm, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> uh, next one's 100. So that's... Oops, knocked a, knocked a box over there. That's just a bit normal for me. There you go, there's 100 hertz. It's a bit higher again. Uh, and the next one, I think, is 200. Higher again. It does a bit of roll off, but you don't actually know it when you listen to it, to be fair. <clears throat> More roll off than I thought. That's 200. Uh, 500. Next. <clears throat> 500. Uh, back to 1000. 1000. 1 kilohertz. 2.5 kilohertz. <coughs> up a bit. There we go. Two and a half. Uh, what's that? That's seven. Sorry, I must have missed out five there. It wasn't two and a half, it was five. Sorry, the previous one. So that's seven. Next one is ten. The next one is fifteen. And the final one is twenty. There we go. Okay, so not much roll off in the top end, less roll off in the top end than I thought, 
a bit more roll off at the bottom but that's to be expected when you see the size of the transformer you don't need the transformer to be fair if you're using line input you don't need that um, I use the, 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 the transformer simply because I'm going to be feeding this from an mp3 player that has got a headphone socket and that will be uh, more useful using the transformer because the level from the headphone socket isn't that high it's low impedance so it doesn't drive it very well um, whereas a line output does it drives it absolutely fine so um, you can do it that way as well my plan now is this is now completed I'm not going any further with this is to now take it off this board and put it on matrix board uh, I'm going to do it that way uh, and then sort out the power supply the power supply I'm going to do mains operated so we'll do that uh, with a, I've got a, an old video transformer out of a video, a video recorder I'll make up a power supply with that we'll have regulated uh, supply for the filaments of, uh, of just about 1.15 uh, volts and we'll probably aim for somewhere between 55 and 60 volts HT anything round about that will be fine uh, I have to say if you go much more than that the range is a bit too much it is, uh, we need to we need to throttle this back a bit uh, because the range is too much uh, but if you can see the amount of HT current that has been drawn the output from this is is actually quite low um, but with a, a reasonably length reasonable length of wire it goes further than you think so the idea with this is to have a um, a different way of doing it so that is the that is the plan uh, this mini disc incidentally has two tone signals as well uh, let me just see if I can get your two tone one on it this is the level ones this is a Sony mini disc uh, test disc very useful actually it's got some good tones on it which I use uh, I can find them there are we infinity we're at now 407 that's two different two different uh, frequencies there um, the scope won't like it of course it never does it doesn't lock up too well but that's only to be expected it's two different frequencies now, there you go uh, what else we got in there hold on oops oh there is that's, just a, that's a low level Nineteen kilohertz and twenty kilohertz. <laughs> yes, there you go. Nineteen and twenty. Uh, what else we got? Nineteen and twenty kilohertz. A hundred hertz and what's this one? No, why don't just get the scope to lock up? What's, what's that? What's that? 100 hertz. Ah, oh, it's just a little different, lower level. That's a lower level as well. Yeah, just different levels. That's all. That's 10 kilohertz again. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it up. I'll turn the level up. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's it. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's perfect. It's not perfect. That's, that's it all modulating well and truly. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't like that and it kills the oscillator when there's too much. So, I mean, it's not perfect. Of course it's not. But it's, it sounds really good, I have to say. And if we... There you go. We'll, we'll stop the... the uh, from running, that's the... Uh, a modulation off. to lock up not the best ah oh, there you go so there's, there, there is actually the, the RF sign made from the RF as well so that's it you can you can see that it's, it's actually nice and clean yeah it's not a bad sign wave at all uh, so so there we go yeah um, quite happy with that but as I say it's not perfect it's not meant to be perfect uh, it's it's a cheap thing with, with just a very very small component count uh, it does the job that it's intended to do. Um, the audio quality is good. 
um, it doesn't need an ex any extra audio amplification. Uh, we're just using one little valve, um, and we use uh, safe voltages, um, under 60 volts, quite safe, and um, low voltage for the filament. And bear in mind, this has been running on this 2800 uh, milliampere battery for quite some time. Yesterday, the day before, today, um, I've been out here for a good few hours now. It's now 20 to 4 in the afternoon. I came out here this morning about, maybe about half past 11, 12 o'clock. I've just gone in for a tea break. And my wife will be thinking I've abandoned her. But uh, it does work. It works very well. It might not be so easy to replicate as some of the other ones, like some of the mini mod is probably easier to do, especially with the uh, uh, availability of a printed circuit board, which makes the whole project much easier. Um, but it can be done in matrix board. It can be done this way in a Manhattan uh, construction on a piece of a uh, laminate board. It can be done that way. And you're starting from afresh. Uh, the valve availability is not quite as good as it was, I have to say. The IZ... Uh, IZ uh, IZH 37A's, uh, sorry, B's are not as easy to come by as they were, but they are still available for £1.50 each, approximately. You only need one. Uh, I've never had a, a new faulty valve yet of a rod pentode, not one. Uh, and I would assume that uh, uh, that would be common enough, that you, the not a valve that is going to be known to be uh, coming as faulty. Uh, you can blow them if you do things that a uh, mistake you make. You might accidentally put HT onto the filaments uh, and you can blow it that way. That's a human error, of course. I've done it myself. I've uh, put my hands up to that. Um, but uh, it's a worthwhile project to, to have a go at um, to make a, a, a nice quality mini, uh, miniature transmitter to feed your radios. Um, a short length of wire is all you need is an antenna that will feed them absolutely fine. Um, you can have it in the house, you could mount it in a, a, a project box or whatever you have. Um, all you, know, you would need it on the front is a, a jack socket for input. Um, you two tuning knobs for the uh, pie tank, although you could get away with just one. Um, one one uh, one control, or you could do it even the way I do it sometimes with using a a drive to a ferrite rod that that uh, like in, inductance uh, incremental type not incremental uh, permeability type tuning, um, which will tune the the pi tank coil. You don't have to use a pi tank if you don't wish. You can use um, uh, just a simple ferrite rod uh, antenna that can actually go in series with the HT supply. Um, to the, the valve anode. There's lots of ways of doing it and every way will work even without any form of filtering it will still work fine and you'll still get reasonably good range and I have to say that uh, with the with a very short antenna uh, and a very low power harmonics are not an issue. The harmonics don't land in, in anything that, that is a problem anyway so to be fair I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it, it, it if you don't want to do it that way. Okay. Right. Thanks, guys, for looking. Cheers for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.